Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsar and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th, 2018 <clears throat> And while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you guys that this is a general reading for the Scorpio star sign. This is not your personal reading. Therefore, it is. Uh, I will explain you the uh, meanings of the cards into their representative positions as well as the synergy in between them. But it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, then uh, you have to go for a personal reading and in order to do so, you have to check my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. <clears throat> and as the summer is ending, there is a, a summer sale, summer end sale, excuse me, going on which uh, adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute sale uh, purchase or service. Uh, and uh, basically makes it total of 14 minutes. So we go for the tarot readings first and the first card here uh, it's about the topic of our week Scorpios because I am a Scorpio for those who don't know me. The second card it's about the core of our situation. The third card here resembles the challenges we have to cope with for the duration of the week and the last card that will be the uh, guidance card. So what guidance tarot is offering to us. <clears throat> so let's see what we got here. Now the, f oh, wow, okay. So the first one that will be the 10 of cups and obviously the 10 of cups is very, very positive card. It does point that the topic or as a topic, we will be pleased with whatever is going on in our life for the duration of this week. Of course, I can go with a trivial interpretation of the card saying, you know, a, a long term love, happiness, etc, etc. But the happiness doesn't come only from love. This card points that we will be happy how the events are turning out and they either they're going to turn out in our favor or not. We will be satisfied with the result of whatever is going on in our week. <clears throat> So the Ten of Cups in the most positive variation and manifestation of the cards points that we are going to recognize our blessings and we are going to start capitalizing on those particular blessings. On a negative side, however, the Ten of Cups represents the human nature of always asking for more. No matter how much one has, one always wants more. And therefore, that could be a topic for some of us. Scorpius where we kind of push ourselves to outer limits here to achieve a slightly more than we have right now for the expense of tremendous efforts. So it does depend what kind of mindset you have guys but this card rather advise you to kind of take this week as a week of break you know and just enjoy the sunlight just enjoy you know your friends enjoy your family as well or, or as i'm going to do enjoying my video games etc etc so it's kind of like this week it does look like that it's going to be a week of emotional satisfaction and fulfillment no matter how much you have or how less you have you're going to um or we are going to be able to capitalize on maximum on the blessings which surrounds us. And of course, for some, that could be the newfound love here, which makes you emotionally fulfilled. You know, for others, it could be uh, the vaporizing of certain predicaments or problems that they do have either into their career or into their relationship. I mean, the manifestation could hit in every single field of one's life. So it's impossible to predict where. So, uh, if we judge about the card, it could be in your family or it should be in your family. But throughout my experience of eight years now reading tarot professionally, it could regard to every single field of your life. Literally what the card says is that this week is going to deprive you from having problems and predicaments. And on top of that, you will have the opportunity to spend all of your time running pleasant and joyful for yourself and the people that are involved into your undertakings. 
uh, and the core of the situation for it that will be the world card so we do have here a, a certain closure that you Scorpio or we Scorpio have done recently or that could be not just um, that could be uh, not a, a closure as many of us are used to kind of expect that could be uh, or at least in my case you know because I'm giving myself as an example because obviously I have to connect the cards with as I have a subject me I can connect the cards with me mm. So that may not be um, a closure in the literal sense of the word, but that could be just one re uh, becoming resigned regarding a certain situation and being totally emotionally detached from it, therefore opening a, a huge place in their hearts to fulfill it emotionally from something else. Just example here, not with me, but just an example that comes with... Um, in my mind is that let's say that you recently have broke up with uh, your partner and um, now you don't feel anything about it you know it's just you are indifferent about the situation and about your partner or that will happen this week and therefore you will have the capability to find happiness in different places your career you know new friends or new person of interest should i say that way because the world card says that a, a new perspective emerges soon this is a, a mandatory for this card one thing ends or one thing reach its peak and completion and another starts soon after so uh, pretty much this reading here or this week for you Scorpio will be about finding happiness in the small things in life in in the things which you already possess but until this very moment you have been blinded by something else and as this something else is no longer in present and doesn't have a effect upon your life now you have your eyes open for the uh, for the positivity and the blessings you have around you so you can understand how rich in reality you are the challenges that we have to overcome as Scorpios here that will be the hangman and this is a, a challenge of um, <laughs> uh, for the lack of better terms I will say boredom because the hangman points uh, here that if we try to exert in certain efforts or if we try to um, you know toil for a certain aim it's simply things aren't going to happen the hangman puts a, a block upon every undertaking in our lives and what I said about the um, the ten of cups here we should take the week of enjoying ourselves and pushing on undertaking is not really an enjoyment it's called achievement and, and both things are very different so it, it will be wise guys if you have the capability for example to take a break from your job you know um, taking a week off or um, simply <clears throat> don't try to uh, execute a certain undertaking into your relationship or with your friends just enjoy the life as life is because otherwise the hangman is kind of like a, a very finicky card uh, now the it does put you a blockage for the purpose of that your or our uh, understanding of our environment is kind of messed up and that is due to the, re the recent blinding we had, as I said here, with uh, the world card. So we kind of, we are in a process of obtaining the accurate perspective upon our life, upon our existence, should I say that way, and upon our environment. And that will happen with time. That will not happen by us being frantic and trying to push at all costs whatever we are after. Just on the contrary, only thing we have to do here is wait and things are going to resolve themselves on their own accord and while we wait why don't we indulge with our blessings as the ten of cups suggests and the last card here is about the guidance this is the ten of pentacles so this guidance is a little bit uh, off topic now this card uh, I, I think that this card suggests that someone will want to reconcile with us and that is not a about um, intimate uh, with intimate intentions this is a, a person who um, betrayed us or kind of um, uh, betrayed our trust in them all right 
they recognize their mistake, they deeply regret for it, and now they want to make it up for it. Now, the Ten of Pentacles suggests you guys to give him a, a second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. On a more superficial level, this card points that you, while you enjoy your um, blessings here, you need to reach as much as possible a level of independency. For, exam for example, repaying debts, uh, clearing up a, a, a credit card, uh, a, a credit card, you know, a revenue, or uh, for example, you know, um, returning favors to friends or to co-workers, etc., etc. So everything that ties you with something, you should kind of, if you have the chance for the duration of the week, because you will, and that doesn't count as an undertaking, it counts as a closure, you should aim to do it, do not postpone it for further into the future, because the hangman then, we don't know how much time it's going to take, will kind of drop off the blockage, and it is when you will, you will have the opportunity to advance with your undertaking the new perspective all right and the best way to advance in new perspective is when you settle everything in the past that stays in the past and it has to be there and should not have and should shouldn't have any impact uh, about your future so that was the tower reading now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, what they are going to show us is event that we Scorpios either should look, look forward to or try to avoid. So the first card here points to the garden. The garden is about social gathering, crowds, crowded places, social places. It is what the garden stands for. Then the next card points to the site. The site doesn't have its uh, own meaning. The site literally traverses the meaning of the next card or it makes it no present. And the next card is the snake, which is a traitor, betrayal, <clears throat> and... Uh, knowledge but uh, knowledge or a, a female but these uh, the last two doesn't really fit with the garden so what happens here guys is that you are a, a traitor or a, a very negative person from your social circle is going to be banished because the site literally cuts them in half well this is on more um uh, it's kind of like a, uh, um, uh, you know, I forgot the English word here, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, literally the site uh, cuts the next card uh, in half and making it no present. So there will be no traitor or no negative person in, in your um, in your social circle any longer or among your friends. So if you uh, kind of like a loose friend here in this... Um, and this week, then this was no friend of yours. Or it could be as well that the site cuts the cunningness and the trickiness and the sense of betrayal into someone, as we said here with the Ten of Pentacles, that someone will try to reconcile with you, you know, uh, which uh, recognize their mistakes and they regret it deeply that they have betrayed you in the past and now they want to make it up for it. So hopefully is going to be the second version of interpretation of the Lenormand cards. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Ascendant for September 24th to September 30th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, because this is not your personal reading, guys, this is a general reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Check out my website listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. That being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.